Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion Yosemite jacket available at Redzilla.com. Part of the new technical collection from Scorpion, this is the Yosemite. It is the big brother of the Yuma, but it is not the technical outer shell that we see from that Yukon. Remember, the Yukon's gonna be just shell only with a lot of technicality and direct venting. The beauty of the Yosemite is that it's true four season, multi-season touring and adventure, and it gives you everything you need. No need for your own base layers, no need for your own mid layers. Everything's included from a thermal and from a waterproof breathable standpoint baked into a shell that has a tremendous amount of venting. That is the claim to fame here right under the $400 mark. There's a tremendous amount of bang for the buck. Three colors available. I have my gray red, I have a sand which is more of that brownish color, and then there's also the black tying it all together. And you're gonna see a few key things here. A lot of ventilation, huge vent panels that have a new feature from Scorpion which allows you to block the venting behind them through panels that don't actually come completely off. So they tuck away which is a really, really nice touch and you're also getting Sastec molecular armor. Upon impact, it becomes rigid, dissipates the energy, high-tech stuff out of Germany in the shoulders as well as the elbows. You get upgraded to the Sastec back protector if you like as well. So keep that in mind. That's how you're getting the four season. Your liner's out, vents open in the summer, Throughout the normal parts of the year, you might not have your liners, but you have your vents closed, and then into the winter, you're beefing up with your waterproof, breathable, removable H2O block lining that has the monkey paws that are integrated into the liner, and you're also getting the thermal ever heat lining, which is 80 grams of insulation, and Scorpion's never done an 80 gram insulated full sleeve liner before. So again, all in one, sub $400, a tremendous approach to things. Now you're also gonna notice that I have Buzzsaw to my left wearing the Yosemite pants. They don't have the thermal element to them, but they have a removable waterproofing, adjustable knees. Again, tying the entire outfit together, they come in a multitude of colors. Again, they're using a lot of those same bomb proof upgrades that we're seeing throughout the jacket. Now let's talk about fit. The Yosemite is on Buzzsaw to my left, six foot, 215, 46 inch chest. He's wearing a size extra large in the jacket, extra large in the pants. He typically has a 41 inch belly button waist. He's about a 36 in jeans with a 33 inch inseam on his jeans as well. So giving you a little bit of an idea how to size things together. But the XL in both jacket and pants are gonna be spot on for him. Now remember the way this Scorpion's approaching this, it's a technical outer shell. It has to have room for the base layers here or your waterproof and your thermal layer and you have to have room to move. So he's in an XL, it fits him, he has room to move here. There's not going to be an overly aggressive amount of stretch paneling or anything. So again, if you're in between sizes, make sure you go the size up because textile typically doesn't have a ton of give to it. Remember too, if you're concerned about the sizing outside of calling us, we do ship for free over 39 bucks. And what I'd like for you to do is click our logo right up there, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Yosemite jacket and pants. Now diving into some of the nuances. Main outer shell, 500 Denis. It's a beefy technical textile. 1680 ballistic nylon in the shoulder shoulders as well as in the elbows. You're going to see it all the way down the forearm to the end of the wrist. So again, that's giving you a little bit of extra beefiness there and protective. And notice the night viz reflective piping from Scorpion. I'm going to rock, lock that down for you all the way throughout. So you see it snaking down the arms on both sides across the chest. If we look at the collar, neoprene collar and it's nice and high great for four season riding all the way around that neoprene make sure if you get wet if you're sweating it's not going to chafe you also have that little button here right at the adam's apple to give you the finishing touch of how that how that connects when that micro velcro comes over you still have the softness from the adam's apple Big pockets along the front, they're usable pockets. Notice the mesh behind them. And again, this is your mesh panel, direct venting. And on the inside of this jacket, when I break it down and open it up, you're gonna see the tuck away panel because when it's cold out or when you wanna turn off the air conditioning, you have the panel that zips up and makes it completely windproof that would sit in front of your waterproof breathable and thermal liners. If we move over to the sleeve, notice this massive, massive vent. It is going to be a direct vent. It is, not directing vent. it is not directing air to the liner. It is not directing air to the thermal. If you have those in, obviously they will block it, but with everything removed, this is going to vent directly to your arm. And again, it's a two-way zip as well, which is really nice. So you can kind of fine tune it here. Maybe halfway up from the bottom, meet them in the middle, depending on how much exposure you want there. Because again, when you're starting to open up that vent panel, you do leave yourself open for a little bit of an area that might pull if you happen to go down. And if we look at here as well, you're going to notice that on the front, it's a water resistant pocket with a flap. 
And again, we already talked about the end of the sleeve here with a lateral side zipper. Notice the way their piping comes in and notice that that monkey paw, remember, is removable. It comes out with the liner system. Now, Ed, turn and face away from me. We talked about our ballistics here. And remember, sastic at the shoulder, sastic at the elbow. Notice right here, you're going to have more elastication at the top of the elbow, and that reflective piping comes down nicely from the back. So again, you're getting reflective, you're getting your high areas of ballistic impact protection coupled with a softer 500D fabric to tie everything together. If we look, my nitpick on some of these new technical textiles from Scorpion is I wish I saw a stretch panel there, but again, I think they've got a lot about the fit right, so it really shouldn't come into play. Notice there's an area of adjustability down here along the waist. Remember, Ed's about 41 inches, so you have a lot of adjustability down there. And then again, going down here along the side, it's going to be straight, it's gonna be that waist, or it's really not waist, it's really hip length. You have that really adventure cut to it. Turn your face backwards for me, Ed. This is one of my favorite features on this jacket, and I'm gonna absolutely lead with it. Now here in the back, you can upgrade to the back protector. That's Sastec level two, it does not come stock, you get a foam pad. But here's the beauty of this jacket. We've seen other guys do the four season approach, and they wanted to go with the mesh on the whole back. But normally this whole panel comes off and you have to worry about losing it. What they've done here is they've given you the ability to tuck this panel right down into the jacket itself. It tucks away, I just did that really quickly, but if I took my time, it would be nice and clean. And what I've done now is I've completely exposed the back panel there, giving ourselves that big exhaust port for all the air that's gonna circulate through this jacket, pull the sweat away from your body and help you stay cool. Notice up here towards the top, reflective piping, as well as some reflective taped areas that tie it all together, embossed Scorpion logo across the back, and you have even more reflectivity kind of setting off this area along the back here, which is your rabbit pouch. I'm getting it open, there we go. And the rabbit pouch is going to have plenty of room to put in your thermal liner as well as your waterproof breathable liner. There's a decent amount of volume baked in. There's gonna be a connection zipper in both the, in both the waterproofing as well as the jacket itself to allow you to connect it to these Yosemite pants when you're tying everything together. Come back around to the front for me, let's open it up. So if Ed opens that bad boy up, you're going to see YKK zipper with a nice big pull, comes down from the front, and what happens is he immediately exposes the waterproof breathable lining. This is your water, this is your water repellent layer. This is your H2O block system. Notice that they even gave you another pop of neoprene there against your Adam's apple. And what happens from there if we open it up the rest of the way, we have one more zipper to go and we're gonna expose our thermal liner. So now, as you can see, there's your quilted thermal liner, 80 grams, completely removable on its own, exposing a mesh inner liner on your H2O block. If I want to remove that, simple as another zip, that opens right up, exposing the outside of that. Again, that's the flexibility you're investing in here. And notice, neoprene, top of the collar, micro fleece liner around the collar, it's not going to chafe. And then we get into the inner, inner workings here, which I've been really excited about. Here's the panel system. Notice that this panel is right behind this outer panel here. So you're gonna see this mesh panel on the outside, and as you work your way inside the jacket, there's now a panel that directly flanks it. This is where your air conditioning is controlled. And what you'd have the ability to do is in the summertime, when you want that full airflow, you're gonna pull this down and you're going to tuck it in. And it even has a piece of Velcro to keep it in place. I just kinda, again, did that really quickly. But what you have here is when the, it cools off a little bit, when you wanna start to close down, if you don't wanna put your mid layers in, if you don't wanna put the waterproof breathability back in, if you don't wanna fumble with things, but you just wanna get it so that you're not getting that full airflow, think about early morning or nighttime riding, maybe in the spring or summer, you can just zip that back up and you're good to go. So again, really nicely done functionality. You even have a full pocket down here that you can work your way down into. But again, they've been very thoughtful in their design. You have a similar pocket on that side. And again, you're getting everything you need for that three to four season riding. You know, I said the three to four, but it truly is a four season coat. If you're going to ride with your liner stowed, you're good to go for anything that Mother Nature has to throw at you. Remember, you step down to something like the Yuma from the Yosemite, which is a little more simple, two to three season option. But from here, you're getting to the big boy territory, the Black Emperor series. You're gonna see that Yukon from Scorpion, which is really that technical outer shell. That's your comparison and contrast. Remember, there's a Yosemite pant to go with this Yosemite jacket. There's also a Yukon pant with that Yukon technical outer shell. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.